We're here in the vinyl department today, and I'm about to take delivery of a new piece of equipment. This is the final piece of the puzzle, the last staple piece of equipment that I've wanted to add here to complete my master plan that I've been working on for the past four years. I'm excited. Except it looks like I'm not done being a mechanic just yet. Like I said, this is the final piece of the puzzle. With what's inside this box, I can combine all the rest of my equipment in the shop in pretty much unlimited ways. ourselves a laser engraver. This is the Thunder Nova 51. It's a 100 watt laser. It has a monstrous 51 by 35 and a half inch work area, so I can put pretty much whatever I want in there. It also has dual pass through, so if I want to stick a four foot by eight foot piece of material in there, no problem. This machine comes in 100 watt and 130 watt. I opted for 100 watts because I don't really need to cut through super thick pieces of material, anything like that. 100 watts can already cut through like three quarters of an inch or something like that. That is way more than enough for me. 100 watts, however, will produce more detail than 130 watts and that's what I'm after. I plan on doing things like these leather patches and embroidery applique and engraving water bottles or whatever, that type of stuff where I'm gonna be producing high detail artwork like we produce and this thing will get the job done, I hope. I just have to figure out how to get this thing off the pallet. This thing is a thousand pounds, so uh, we're gonna have to get a little creative. This is how I'm feeling after seeing this machine. Well, that was a bit of a mission. Good thing I had all that practice unloading giant pieces of equipment from crates by myself when we initially set up the shop. Next, it's setup time. This is a water-cooled laser, so we gotta get the chiller all plugged in, get water in it, get the air bubbles out, we gotta get the air compressor hooked up, we gotta get a few other things set up, like the ventilation, whatever else, and then we should be good to turn this on. gotta get the best part. It's gonna peel under the peel. Look at that. Double the satisfaction. This machine is gonna open up so many new doors for us. We're gonna be able to engrave things like drinkware, make signs, all that type of stuff. We'll be able to do really cool stuff like these laser leather patches that people have been asking me about like crazy for years. Finally, we can do them in-house here on the channel. But the thing that I'm most excited for is this is gonna allow me to take all the different pieces of equipment in the shop and combine them together somehow in pretty much unlimited ways. Of course, there's the obvious, using this to cut embroidery applique. We're definitely gonna do that in the future and do things like cut patches, but there are so many other creative opportunities here to use screen printing combined with the laser, use the DTG combined with the laser, combine the laser with embroidery and screen printing all together. It's crazy. My imagination has been running wild since I knew that this thing was on the way and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. But before any of that happens, I gotta do some training because I don't know jack shit about lasers. I am trained up and ready to go. I also had to put a sweater on because it is freaking freezing in here. I don't quite have proper ventilation yet because the guys that said they were gonna do it said, we're not doing that until it warms up because we gotta go on the roof and in the attic and we're not dealing with that in the cold. So I, uh, I just ran the vent hose <laughs> out the garage door for now and it's cold as shit in here. Anyways, the Lightburn software seems very, very easy to use, especially for me since I have a strong Illustrator background and I can just kind of copy and paste things out of Illustrator into Lightburn. So really all Lightburn's gonna do for me is control the settings of the machine and that's pretty much it. Training gave me a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, but still, there is a lot to learn with one of these machines. There's gonna be a lot of setting changes taking place here to try and dial things in correctly. I'm gonna start with the leatherette patches first because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making a lot of those things for people around here. So I'm gonna toss a piece of that material in here and run a test. Yeah. 
So what my first test is gonna show me is how much speed and how much power I need to engrave this stuff properly. Basically with these things, the slower you go, the less power you need, and the faster you go, the more power you need. The speed also plays a part in how detailed the design comes out, and that's why I wanted to run one of these because I'm trying to find the perfect balance of speed versus power and still pull out the amount of detail that I expect for the stuff that I make. And after inspecting this thing, it definitely looks like somewhere in the range of 450 to 500 millimeters per second looks good on the speed. And I would say somewhere in the range of 13 to 15% power, those two little blocks look like the strongest and sharpest results here. I'm gonna run one more of these tests, but this time it's gonna be for the cutting. So that one is a little bit easier to see what's going on. Pretty much most of them worked, but this isn't really a great representation as to how detailed these cuts are gonna be because they're just little squares. So I think I'm just gonna play it safe for now. I'm gonna run it right in the middle, which is at 30% power and 60 millimeters per second. That'll be a good baseline to start with, and then I can start tweaking. So let's try to make a patch. I'm gonna start off with the tried and true Rogue Lab logo, something simple, see how it goes. Well, holy shit, that's exciting. I'm pretty sure I got it on the first try. <laughs> Looks very close. I would say that is 90% of the way there. That is very, very close. It looks great, honestly. Some people could probably run with this, no problem, but I'm a perfectionist. I wanna see how much better I can get this. The cut looks great, so I'm not gonna change anything there. Don't wanna get ahead of myself, but if you look closely at the edges of the engraving, you can see there's a little bit of jaggedness going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten up the interval, and what that does is it closes the gap as the laser's moving back and forth across the x-axis, is it shortens the amount of distance it moves on the y-axis going front to back. So that should pull more detail out of this thing. And I should probably turn the power down just a little bit since there's gonna be a little more overlap going on. Well, that one definitely pulled out the detail that I was looking for, but it came at the expense of engraving it way too deep. It almost went right through the back of it. So I think what I'm gonna do to counteract that is I'm gonna bump up the speed a little bit and I'm gonna turn down the power a little bit and we should be on the money. That was it, man. This one is absolutely perfect, and it took like three tries. The engraving depth is spot on, the cutting is spot on. This, however, isn't a very complex or complicated design, so these things could change, but I mean, for day one operating this thing, I'm very happy with this, because this looks identical to the stuff that I've been buying from other people for the last couple of years, and I know that they know their shit, so I'm on the right track. I know it's gonna require a little bit more time to really figure out the fine details, and I'm gonna have to do this whole testing phase like 10 more times because I've got a bunch of different versions of this leatherette, and each one of them is a little bit more sensitive than the other with how far you can engrave it down to reveal the color underneath, so definitely gonna have to put a lot of time into this and get it sorted out, but for now, I think it's safe to say that I'm ready to offer the leather patches to the people. Mm. So yeah, if you want any of these in your own designs, please email me at my print shop website, link below. I don't wanna get too far into the leather patch stuff right now because I'm gonna make a whole video dedicated to that once I put a little bit more time into it. So I think for now, before we wrap this up, I wanna try and make myself some sort of acrylic sign. Now at this point, I'm winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how fast or slow to cut this at, how much power, whatever. I probably could run some of those tests again, but this shit is expensive, man. I kinda of wanna just see if I can knock it out on the first shot so I'm not wasting big chunks of it. Anyways, the goal here is to make some sort of multi-layered type of sign with the Rogue Lab logo again. I have the black acrylic, that will be the black background circle for it. I also have white acrylic that has adhesive on the back, so I'm gonna cut out all the lettering and all the broken up circles that go inside the logo and stick that to the black backing and make a multi-layered type thing. This thing turned out so damn sick, look at it. It's incredible. I don't know if I did any of this right. I probably did a bunch of stuff wrong, but at this point in time, I don't give a shit because this is my first day with a laser. I knew nothing about this, and I was able to make two very successful things. 
I'm calling that a win. Well, this is it, man. Like I said, this is the last piece of the puzzle. This is the final piece of equipment that I needed to create the one-stop shop that I've been dreaming about since I started this business five years ago with nothing but a single hat heat press in a tiny little bedroom. We fucking did it. It's unbelievable. It's taken so much hard work, so much stress, so much sacrifice to get to this point, and I'm finally there. It's like a big sigh of relief, but at the same time, can't back off the gas now. Now it's time to really put it to the floor and take over. The machine seems great so far. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy to operate, especially for someone who knew nothing about lasers before today. I was able to get up and running and make a couple things successfully. I think that says a lot about it. Obviously time will tell once I start putting more hours on this thing, throwing more difficult jobs at it and seeing what kind of abuse it can take. But my initial impression so far is it's pretty awesome. We got freaking laser beams in here, ladies and gentlemen. Huge thank you to Thunder Laser for helping me make this happen. I link them down below if you wanna check out this machine or anything else that they offer. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Ah, God, this is terrifying. Stop. Forklift certified, baby. Ready to jump my bones now? No. First try! One take Willie. Holy shit. That never happens. Three, two, one. You serious? <laughs> Come on! It's a 51 by 30. Fuck, I forget the measurements. Damn it. Hola, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some water, please? Pallet, this thing's 100 damn pounds. Or 100 pounds. <laughs> Oops. Some crap on the lens. What the? What the fuck is that? A lot of cool new stuff. Of course, we're gonna be able to do things like engrave.